Hey guys, what's up? It's Elise from The Crunchy Ginger. Every week I give you a tip, a trick, a DIY to help you save a little money and live a little greener. So if that sounds like something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that we can stay in touch. So today's video is going to be a cleaning DIY. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know that I like I really hate cleaning. So um, any kind of fun little trick to help me get through it um, is really great for me and I hope that maybe it's helpful for you also. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a super super simple orange peel vinegar cleaner and it is so easy. It only requires two ingredients which you already probably have in your home right this second. All you're going to need is orange peels or if you don't have orange peels you can use any other citrus grapefruit or limes or lemons um, those little clementines any of that stuff would be great and white distilled vinegar that's it two ingredients so all you're going to do is you're going to take your orange peels in um, a glass jar like this it can be a mason jar like this one or um, like a recycled jar from a, i don't know from pickles or whatever else you've got um, and you're just gonna pack it full of orange peels. Um, this is like three oranges, three navel oranges worth of peels. Um, if you use the mandarins, obviously a few more. Um, if you are not like eating three oranges right now today, you can either put some peels in a jar um, and stick it in your fridge, or if it's gonna be a while, stick it in the freezer and then kind of pull them out as you need them. You can also mix the citrus. So if you get, you know, limes and lemons or lemons and oranges um that'd be fine too so you're just gonna pack them in the jar like that and then you're gonna take your plain white distilled vinegar and you just cover the peels with the vinegar and you kind of want to get them all the way on top like that i'm just gonna push mine down a little bit you put the lid on it you stick it in your cabinet or under your sink for two weeks. A little longer is okay. Probably want it to be at least two weeks. And you just leave it there. That's it. If you run into it under there and you feel like it, you can give it a little bit of shake to mix it around. But honestly, I just like stick it under there and then pull it out when I remember. Um, magic time warp. This is what it looks like in two weeks. So it has been in there. You can see it's looking a little bit, a little bit funky from being in the vinegar. I'm gonna pop my lid off here and then I'm gonna strain this out. Um, I'm gonna use just this like big strainer guy. You could use cheesecloth if you don't have a thing that looks like this. Um, and I'm just gonna pour the vinegar out of here and through the strainer. And I'm gonna kind of just give it a little squeeze like this with the bottom of my jar. And what you're actually doing is you're infusing this vinegar with the citrus oil. Um, let's talk a little bit about why green cleaning matters. More than half of the conventional chemical cleaners that we buy at the store um, contain ingredients that are really hard on our lungs. They're really bad for our, our respiratory system, especially people with asthma. They've been known to to induce asthma, you know, over long periods of time for people that didn't previously have it. Um, some chemicals in cleaners are endocrine disruptors. Some of them are carcinogens. So it's really a good idea to get as much of that out of your home as possible. Vinegar is a cleaning superstar. It's a staple in crunchy kitchens everywhere. So if you don't have a big old tub of vinegar in your house, I would suggest that you get one because it's really cheap and it's great for, um, vinegar's a great degreaser. It's good on grime and sticky stuff. So all purpose stuff like uh, counters and cabinets and sinks and bathrooms. Um, some people use it on their floors. Um, two places that you probably don't wanna use the vinegar are on natural stones. That includes like marble and granite. And if you have any kind of like stone tiles, um, I do not have anything fancy like that, so that is not a problem for me. Um, and the jury is kind of out on hardwood floors, natural hardwood floors. Some people say, yes, it's amazing. Some people say, no, don't do it. So use your own judgment on that one. Um, but otherwise, 
vinegar is a really great cleaner for a lot of things. Um, one thing I will say about cleaning with vinegar is vinegar is not a registered disinfectant by the CDC. So if you are trying to disinfect, if you're trying to sanitize, vinegar is not your girl. You're going to want to use something um, like rubbing alcohol, 70% or higher isopropyl alcohol will kill um, the novel coronavirus, will kill flu um, viruses, things like that. Um, but for your cleaning, for your everyday cleaning, vinegar is fantastic. So use the right cleaner for the right job. Okay, so now that we've got this vinegar out of here, um, you can you can store it until you're ready for it. You can also, you can make this in as big of a jar as you want to. I've just, you know, three or four oranges in a, in a jar like this is super easy for me to do and this cleaner will last me for, you know, I don't clean that much. So this will last me for a couple of weeks, honestly. Um, but if you have a spray bottle like of this you can just pour your vinegar into the spray bottle i'm going to use this little funnel um, so i don't make an incredible mess all over everywhere and to make this into a cleaner a good rule of thumb is one part water to one part vinegar so this is gonna fill my jar like that and then to make a spray cleaner out of it i'm just going to add a little bit of water probably about to there. It's not an exact science. You can be a little more exact if you like, but this is about, about one to one. If you're like cleaning your bathroom and you need like some real elbow grease, you can leave this a little less diluted, but this is going to be good for, for most things. Um, also you can use your um, infused orange vinegar or citrus vinegar um, in another like DIY cleaning spray. Um, like, um, I made one that when I cleaned my fridge a couple weeks ago, um, if you haven't seen it, you can check out the video there. Um, and you could use the infused vinegar for that as well. The orange oil in this is going to really give you some cleaning, some good cleaning power. And also it smells nice. Like one thing people always complain about vinegar is the kind of the sort of vinegary smell. Um, really it dissipates pretty quickly. So I've never been really bothered by it, but adding the citrus to it, adding the orange to it, Kind of leaves you with a fresh citrus smell and it really cuts through some of that vinegar um, another awesome tip with this is like don't stop at the citrus you can add um you can add herbs to it as well so you could add like a sprig of rosemary or lavender or some mint or lemon balm um really any a cinnamon stick even like orange and cinnamon would be really kind of festive so you can you can put that in there also when you um when you fill your jar with the peels put some herbs in there too to make it like totally gourmet um i hope that this is helpful for you and i hope that it helps you with your spring cleaning or your general cleaning i hope it helps me with my spring cleaning um <laughs> If you want to know more about this, you can head on over to thecrunchyginger.com. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm at thecrunchyginger. I'm on Facebook. And please subscribe to this channel if you want to know more tips and tricks for how you can live a little greener and save a little money. Thank you so much for watching. Be well.